Welcome back to Unfletched Outdoors. Uh, not sure why I'm throwing a knife around, but uh, today we're gonna make some some bacon wrapped pigeon. Uh, we have our pigeon here, and uh, gonna kind of cut it into chunks, just some decent sized chunks. Now uh, we can wrap it with some bacon. Clean it up a little bit. Get some of that stuff off there. We got our seasonings right here. We got some garlic salt, salt and pepper, and some oregano. We're going to be seasoning these up and wrap them in bacon. How about there? That's some, we got some nice chunks. Grab our bacon here. Actually got some homemade bacon. All right, we're gonna season these these suckers up, and then we're gonna wrap them in bacon. And yep, we're gonna wrap them in this nice bacon. Throw some salt and pepper on these. Get them nice and coated. Yeah, I'm actually the garlic salt. So really, garlic salt these suckers up. Make them make them tasty. Very good. We're actually gonna do a a double coat, double coat of season. Now, pigeon, I'm not sure if you guys have had pigeon, but pigeon is just like dove, if you ever had dove. It's actually pretty good. Most people don't really think about eating birds, but birds are birds are pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I think pigeon's probably one of my favorites, actually. It's pretty good, especially if you cook it, not, if you cook it right. There you go, those are all, uh, those are all garlic, though. Hey, which ones don't want garlic on them? He's all about it. But you oh, grabbed one to start. I think it's him. It's him. We're going with him. Oh, he's all about it. If so, we'll double him. Alright. And we got some flimsy pieces of bacon that we're not going to use. But uh, yeah, we just got toothpicks and we'll wrap them up and we'll show you here. You done over there yet? I'm working on it. Are we going to throw these in the air fryer or what? Or the oven? Um, now you can grill them if you want a little smoky taste. You can uh, lay like foil on a grill, but then make sure your bacon grease doesn't drip down in because that uh, that'll spark up a fire. But today we're just gonna throw them in the air fryer, make them fast and pretty solid. So it's nice and easy if you guys can do this yourself. It's really not that hard. Nice easy cook. We got these pigeon probably a couple weeks ago. I'm not hunting for him. Check out this homemade bacon. Pretty solid stuff. Alright, get ready for some other seasoning. Let's throw a little bit of oregano on there. You know, some people don't like the leaves, but... Leaves are good. The leaves are good. Really tasty. It's crazy what they can do. Get it all in there. Give them a flip, and then go to town again. Oh, don't never knew how much taste these leaves had. So some of these bacon, these bacon pieces are pretty small, so it's going to be more like a, a bacon fold, but it should still be. Pretty good. These should be pretty tasty. Happy come. Happy you make up, can Come closer. We'll do a little example. So you got your, you got your pigeon, you got your toothpicks, and you got your bacon, and you just throw her on there. Slop them on there. And just give it a good fold. Shove a toothpick right down the middle. Just keep that bacon nice and. Make sure it comes out the other end, and boom. Oh. Yep, yeah, that's what you don't want there. Make sure it stays on there, because in the air fryer they'll blow around. That's what you got there, then they'll go in the air fryer and uh, they'll be done. So, we're gonna get the rest of these done here. We'll probably gotta season these bacon one more time while they're wrapped. Pretty good coat on there. Just like that. Doesn't that look tasty? I can just. Is that good? Yeah, it's good. That's the good stuff. Later, we're we'll doing a little bit of rabbit, a little marinade. 
Or just gonna smack down some, some bacon wrapped pigeon. So, pigeon hunting is actually probably one of my favorites. I like it because it's super action packed. You're, you're, if you're seeing them, there's always action. You're constantly shooting. I just think it's a lot of fun. We actually got these at a person's barn. He let us go scare them out of there and you just shoot away. As soon as they come out of there, you start shooting. So that's, I think that's probably one of the most fun I've hunting. Now with pigeon, if you live in town or you live in a city, don't go around shooting pigeon because country pigeon are not the same as city pigeon. Uh, city pigeon, they're eating like trash, they're eating stuff off the, the streets and they're not, not very tasty, so. These things are munching on some corn. Uh, there's actually tomato field right next to where we got these ones. Need some more bacon. I need a little more bacon. Yeah, so these things are eating farmer's crops. So we're actually helping them out a little bit doing this. Take a small piece for this small guy. Just keep grabbing away, I tell you. Throw skin bacon and throw them off to the side. There you go. Thanks, brother. I'm hungry. I am too. These things are gonna be good. Just right here. Excuse him. Last one here. So how long do you think it'll take to, to cook these? Like 10 uh, minutes maybe? I'd say probably air fire for about seven, eight minutes or so. We'll uh, we'll test the time here, but I'm thinking seven or eight minutes. Yeah, pretty <clears throat> pretty quick and easy. Shouldn't take too long. And for it being like that quick and easy, we go. Third out to the side here and uh, actually. We're actually going to double season these. You don't have to, but we're going to taste the flavors. Oh, yeah. Get these things nice and covered. Now, don't go too crazy on the garlic because garlic is a strong taste. Yeah. Garlic salt, one of the best seasonings out there. It really doesn't get any better than that. A little salt and a little pepper, and you'll be... You'll be on your way. Now we're gonna grab our our air fryer right here, and it's kind of nice because it has uh, has the holes in the bottom. You can just stick your toothpick in there, and it'll sit straight up. I learned that one from a friend. Just load them in there. Make sure they don't really touch much. When you're, when you're preparing these, you really want to kind of get it nice and cleaned up because the fat and like. There's some stringy stuff on there. You really want to get that off. It tastes kind of like waxy or else you'll get like a really bad bite and it gets like super chewy, but we clean these suckers up pretty good. So we shouldn't have that issue. Remember, when you're making stuff, you want to have a good experience, you have a good taste. You don't want to have it bad for one time and then never want it again. So we're going to whip these in the air fryer and we'll be right back with you. Whoa, look at those suckers right there. Don't those things look good? We're gonna go ahead and take these out. Go and grab that plate, Andrew. No, no. Make sure you got clean stuff when you're putting your done food on. Yeah, you don't wanna cross contaminate with the, uh, with the raw bird, raw poultry. That stuff can be pretty bad for you. Get Bro. some salmonella. We don't want that. Raw anything, really. Ouch, that is hot. Don't do that either. That's hot. It's warm. Check out them right there. Look at those. Those look pretty good. Grab one here and bite these it. These are probably pretty toasty, but these look good. They're hot. But you know what? We're going for it. Ready? Oh! I'm right, good. That's hot. But it's warm. Got some good pigeon right there. And the oregano hits the spot. Oh yeah. And the leaves. We're just throwing some pigeon in the air fryer pretty quick. I think that's pretty, pretty darn good. 
It's got like a like a nice steak, like almost melts in your mouth. And the bacon and garlic just top it off. Alright, we just finished up the pigeons, and now we're gonna chop these rabbits up, and we're gonna chuck them in the, the nice marinade. Marinade. So we got our rabbits all uh, all cleaned out here, and we're gonna kind of cut it up so it's almost like eating like chicken off the bone. So first off, what you wanna do here is you wanna take off the back leg. You just gonna find that joint there. Cut it. It's not too hard. <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't too easy. And you're gonna do that to both legs there. And then you'll you'll clean them up at the end there, but it's just gonna be like chicken off the bone. Pretty much follow the side of the rabbit all the way down. And then you will have almost get her done. Then you have nice two rabbit legs. Real chunky. A chunky rabbit here. He's still working on his over there. He's coming. Yeah, that's a discard piece there. But then after that, you have nice meat on your backbone, along the, the backbone there. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to take it and yeah, throw it on mine, I guess. Dude, I got the smaller. <laughs> I got the smaller one. We're going to take it and kind of quarter it into the nice, nice bite-sized pieces. So, I guess line it up, make a little incision, and just push down. That makes you got a nice sharp knife. And just like that, you got a nice, nice chunk of meat. And actually, before you do the last one, before you do the last one here, you're actually going to take out the ribs. So if you just follow kind of the stomach lining, and uh, make sure you keep the meat on there. But just work your way up the ribs. And take the ribs out. Yeah, before we start cutting these, you got these things nice and cleaned up. You should be pretty good. We're gonna marinate them. We'll show you what's in the, gonna be in the marinade in just a little bit after we get these. Just like that. Then the up. discard and then take the other ones out. And if you don't like bone cracking sound, I'm sorry. Because there's a little bit of cracking here. If you put these in halves or thirds. I do the hands on kind of, kind of just like a, a bite sized piece. The anatomy of animals is pretty weird, but. Yeah, you kind of just learn as you go. I mean, we've been doing this for like our whole lives. Our dads have taught us a whole bunch of stuff, so. You learn a, a lot through experience. I would say. Just like that, and you got another piece there. Nice piece of meat. We're gonna wash these up and even clean them some more. There's still some. And then some blood and stuff on there. All you have here is your front legs. It's just like a chicken leg, and you just follow it. Follow it back to the joint. Cut it off, and there is your front leg. Next, we're going to whip up some marinade. Put these in marinade for overnight. So we uh, we got the rabbit all cleaned up here. We got it chunked out. Uh, got it cleaned up. And now we're going to make our marinade. 
So I'm gonna toss them all in here. Chuck these in the bowl. So for our marinade, we're gonna have some, some milk, paprika, some hot sauce that we found in the fridge, uh, some parsley, and some oregano again. Yeah, so some people think that hot sauce and milk contradict each other, but I guess we'll find out. We're just gonna kind of go for it. We just, just cover them up, make sure they're covered. Yeah, make sure everything's nice and covered. That's probably good around there. Thanks for helping. Yep, anytime. Yeah, just make sure they're nice and covered. Oh, that is good hot sauce. And I just wow, oh, they're yeah. on there. Get her in there. Heck, just heck, more, just more, keep more, going. A little more for good luck. Yeah, Might be a little spicy, but that's alright. And then just some paprika. <laughs> Dude, some leaves. Everyone, yeah. everyone loves the leaves. Oh, actually, yeah, I get the thick side out so they come out good. Leaves. Oh yeah, I can smell hot sauce. And then some oregano. The oregano is the good stuff. There we go. Look at that. No, then just gonna, give her a little whirl. Just throw your hands and then get it all. You probably add some more stuff. So. More stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can smell the sauce. That smells good there. We're gonna let these sit for about 24, 48 hours. Then we're gonna we're we gonna deep fry them. Yeah. We're just gonna cover it up and uh, they in the fridge overnight. Get that nice and tight seal on there. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> nice and tight. Oh, I did. I did see that. It's nice it's and right. tight and throw it in the fridge. You got room in here? Oh yeah, I made some room. Oh yeah. Yeah, we did. We just took out. Oh wait, no, that's all right. Just like that. So we're just gonna let that rest overnight and we'll see y'all guys tomorrow. Just took these out of the fridge. Uh, they're sitting in the marinade for about, I'd say like 24 hours. We're gonna take them out and then we're gonna, we're gonna pat them dry. These suckers looking nice and good. They're nice covered. Let them soak up all those flavors overnight. I'll we'll pat these dry. Then we're gonna throw them in our our wet and our dry mixture. Then we're gonna fry these up. We got our we got a rabbit pat it dry there. Good enough. Now we're gonna make our wet and our dry mixture. So we're just gonna do two eggs and some milk for the wet. We're actually just gonna do the egg whites. So we'll get the just the egg white in here. It's actually good if you're making it for breakfast and you just got your yolk. And there. We're just gonna set this right here for now. Get our other one. Got some farm fresh eggs. Get your whites. Let's go that one away. And a little bit of milk. We got whole milk today. The good stuff. And you just give it mix. Mix it up. Put all the little egg snots out. Make sure it's nice and combined. And then we're gonna make our wet or our dry, I guess, because our wet. There. And for our dry, we didn't have any breadcrumbs, we're gonna go with frosted flakes and some, some sugary goodness. But those are actually our breadcrumbs and we got some flour. some pepper.
Use the other side. It's easier. Got some salt. Some paprika. One more. And some garlic powder. Don't go too crazy on garlic, garlic's strong. Then you just get your hands in there and mix it all up. Make sure you wash your hands before, of course. Just got our mixtures made. Now we're gonna drop these in the wet and drop them in the dry, get them nice and covered. Then in a little bit we're gonna fry these suckers up. Get nice. Make sure you get the whole thing covered. Some good breading on there. And uh, a good tip is always uh, when you're doing your wet and dry mix, to when you're done with the dry, let it sit for a good five minutes or so. Um, kind of let the let the mixture just set a little bit, so when you drop it in the oil, it's not just gonna not just gonna fall off and go everywhere so we got our rabbit breaded here and uh, sat for five minutes let it adhere so now we're going to drop it in the oil let it sit in the oil for about five minutes or so we'll flip it until it gets a nice golden brown put a couple in at a time here you just want to make sure your oil doesn't get over 350 degrees you don't want to burn anything. Check out them suckers right there. Here's the focus. They look pretty good. Let's uh, step in here and dig in. Golden brown. It's a little hot. Not bad. Good. Fish a little bit on my rabbit. I like chicken.